Okay, update. It is now a week and a day later. So the surgery last Tuesday. It's now Wednesday, so day eight, I guess. And I woke up this morning and my nose wasn't bleeding. It's all dried, but it wasn't bleeding overnight. So I've got a like a towel over my pillow, but that's an achievement, I think. So my progress after the surgery is that, yeah, waking up on day eight, I don't have to have a tissue up to my nose because it's not dripping out. I know the last footage, it wasn't dripping out at the time, but every morning that I've woken up, it's been bad, if that makes any sense. I've literally just woken up. Excuse the face, but not really, because YOLO. Um, but I just walked the dog out um, to go to do a wee and that was a struggle. So energy levels aren't great. I still feel really weak and that's probably because I'm not doing very much and I haven't, yeah, I'm just really weak. Um, but yeah, about to do the nose flush. So yeah, this nostril is doing a lot better than this one because this one had more work done to it um, and this sinus area there, but yeah. That's my progress. I'm really happy about that. <laughs> hey guys, so awesome news. Today I started getting my voice back. So it's more myself and not as nasally, which is great. Um, second bit of good news yesterday with the help of mom and like having a chair in the shower and stuff, I was able to wash my hair, which I haven't washed since back to last week uh, before the surgery. So that was disgusting, um, but felt really good, like something really simple, but I don't know, just something to take care of yourself. You know when you put cream on your legs or you paint your toenails or cleanse your face, you just feel like new again? When I washed my hair, I just felt new. I didn't feel like a crazy mess. Um, and obviously tonight, as you can see, I have a nose strip on. And I'm very scared about taking this off because um, I know it'll hurt my nose because it's still very sensitive. Um, didn't really think it through because I saw my nose, I don't know, I just was looking at it, you know, seeing what's up and, um, the blackheads, I oh, they're just so bad. I haven't been able to wash my nose, like, touching it is tender, but, like, all of this, as you can see, like, all down there, blackheads, pimples, are just dirt because I've just been able to sort of, like, like on those ads when they're like, ooh, and they like put the water in their face. That's what I've been doing, like sort of like lukewarm water just to wash my face and like sort of cleansing here and here, but I haven't touched this area. So I thought I'd do a nose strip and mum was like, it'll be fine. And I'm like, yeah, and now I've done it. Regret, because I just take it off very soon. But anyway, um, hopefully it doesn't hurt too much. Um, I still, I can breathe through this nostril, amazing. Uh, this one, not as much. Um, a little bit of air is going through, which is great. But I just had my shower and I used that, you know, that nose spray thing. And on the bottle, it says you're supposed to spray it up and it, like, it blocks off this nostril so the water comes out that one. And tonight, it did that for the first time. Praise be to Jeebus. I was very excited about that. So means that something can get through. Um, blood came out, obviously. I got really worried yesterday because my nose was obviously still bleeding and it still is. So I called the hospital and the ENT who was on, I, Jason or something, he just said it can bleed for up to weeks after the surgery, weeks. So I was stressing about nothing, although I was like, I don't know if it's me. I don't, I don't know anyone who's had this surgery, so I have no idea what to expect. So I have my appointment next week, obviously, for the surgeon. So yeah, he will be able to assess it and see what's up. But yeah, at the moment, super tender still, really sleepy today um, on day 10. And yeah, just just taking my meds as per usual and sleeping. Um, but yeah, my voice is definitely coming back. Well, it, it's, it's like 10 o'clock, 10.30 at night. So obviously my voice is, it's always better at night as well as anything that I do. It's really nice at night. My voice is strongest. Um, but yeah, I just felt really, lo lots of pain here. And around here so don't know why that is but I'm just giving you completely raw footage of what's happened after surgery and this is about done oh not yet it has to feel like paper mache you know when you paper mache something that's what it should feel like but yeah hopefully just cleanse a bit of my nose <laughs> but anyway day 10 that is my update so yeah I'll check in with you guys maybe tomorrow or a few days later I start back at work on Monday 
and today is Friday. So I've got two more days of recovery um, and rest before I go to work. So I'm a bit nervous about going back to work because it'll be on my feet all day. I don't sit down at work. So ugh, I'll let you guys know how I go, but I might speak to you before then. But yeah, bye. <laughs> Oh my god, I literally blend into my surroundings, but I just letting you guys know I did the nose strip and it worked a treat. It was amazing. It was disgusting because it lifted up dirt and makeup. Like I haven't worn makeup in nearly two weeks and there was like makeup residue on there. Like how does that even happen? Anyway, I'm gonna go to bed because I'm very tired. But um, yeah, as you can see, like I'll do a close up. My nose, oh, come on, focus. I don't know if it's gonna focus on my, oh God, that's so close. Okay, as you can see, it's still quite puffy and there's like discoloration on my nose. And it's hard, like I know my face better than anyone, but it's still quite bulbous if that makes any sense. There's no good lighting in this bathroom. Um, but yeah, yeah, really tender around here, like whatever this is. Oh won't do that anymore um but yeah i'm gonna go to bed and just want to let you know that i survived so yeah i'm alive i'm still here <laughs> oh my god okay bye hey guys so today is day 13 of my sinus surgery post off um i went to work today so i worked like seven and a half hours eight hours um and it was really tough um update i guess is the what's in my nose right now is really black and it's not really like red blood like fresh blood like it was about four days ago so the past few days it's been oh, there's a dog there. um it's been really i guess smelly and it's just they're literally black um and it's just yeah a lot of the packing is, as well as coming out when i'm doing the nose rinses um so today was really hard in terms of i was really dizzy and got quite hot sort of cold and hot like a bit feverish at work um luckily kenny kenny was there to help me out so that was good um and i get tomorrow off which is good because i've worked public holiday today but yeah it was really hard i put makeup on as well so getting this off it's gonna it like hurt to put makeup on but i like subcon like self-consciously didn't want to go in without it because i don't feel like i look great or anything like that so i like put it on and now i've got like highlighter all there and like Oh, it hurts so much. Like the beauty blender. I was like, ow, ow, ow. <sighs> Cost of beauty, you know? I shouldn't have put any makeup on, but at least everyone at work was like, oh my god, you're like, you don't look that bad. I'm like, makeup. Um, oh, there's Cooper. Coop. He's gone. Um, oh, he's coming. You know? Coop. Are you right? Anyway, as I was saying, um, yeah, just my nose is blocked. It just feels like I'm more have a head cold than anything else. So took all my normal medication, have done one rinse today, about to do another one before dinner. And yeah, my voice is back semi there. Just had a lot of water today. Not feeling the best now. Like I feel really tired. Oh, um, and yeah, it just sucks that I can't blow my nose. I was just dabbing it all day. And yeah, as I said, it's black it's not red it's black whatever's in there and it's actually disgusting but i'm giving you what's happening to my nose and that's what's happening um and yeah that's that's about it <laughs> so i've got my appointment on wednesday so i'll chat to you guys after my appointment and see what the surgeon says but um yeah that's my update so I'll talk to you guys then bye how beautiful are these thanks mom my um Valentine's Day flowers finally <laughs> died. Sorry, Steph. Um, but when they died, Mum replaced them with gerberas, which are my favourite flower in the world because she knew that I was sad to see my other flowers go. And for recovery, what is better than a bunch of flowers next to your bed? And a pitcher of Paris. And a black coffee with a dash of almond milk. What's well, almond and coconut, but I mean, that's just being pretentious, isn't it? Hello, everybody. Um, so my nose finally stopped bleeding. I just got back 
probably around 10 minutes ago from the city. So that was a long drive with a blood nose. Um, luckily, mum's always stocked up with tissues. So the appointment, <laughs> let's talk about the appointment. So the wait time was a joke, uh, but not as bad as last time, which is great. So I had a surgeon who wasn't the surgeon who operated on my nose, public hospital, go figure. He was there though, like I saw him and I was like, yo, doctor. He didn't wave. Um, anyway, so I had this different doctor, his name was Chris. Don't know his last name, just call him Chris. Um, and he put the numbing spray up my nose and wrote over my notes, whatever. And then I went in and he's like, let's check out your nose. He goes, have you been blowing your nose? I was like, no, no. I was like told not to. And he's like, oh, well, you should have, or like you can. So I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> like it hurts so much. I didn't think that blowing your nose would be good because it'll be the pressure. And my surgeon said, don't do that. And he's like, oh, you know, like some say do, some say don't. Um, but like, we'll just go in there and have like a look. A look at what's happening. So I went up there and there was, it was oh it was gross. Um, there was like all this packing in there and he and the nurse were just like okay like let's get the suction tool and just you know get it out. And I was like okay cool. You're gonna use like water you know when like when you get the dentist and they've got the suction and they're getting your mouth from that with water and they're like you know that cleaning thing? I thought it was gonna be like that like they would flush it out. But no, it was like thinner than a straw, like little metal tube. And he just put it up there and just like sucked everything out. And I had my fist like that and I was just crying. So like, it looked like a mess because I was literally crying. Like, not like openly like sobbing, weeping, but just the the reflex, obviously, because you're in pain. Like the tears just started streaming and I was like, he's like, oh, it's just gonna be a little bit uncomfortable. I'm sorry, Chris, but have you had someone with a tool up your nose in the past five minutes just yanking stuff down? No, you haven't. So it's a lot uncomfortable. Um, anyway, so that was fun for both nostrils. Um, I mean, it feels a little bit more open, but I mean, it was bleeding from the time I was in there, like leaving like this with tissues to when I got home. And it took like over an hour and a half to get home. Like just, oh, yeah, an hour and a half. Yeah, an hour and a half. <laughs> so I was bleeding. It's still like blood there, but it's not pouring out, which is great. So hence why I'm filming now. So that would be a little bit too gross. Um, I can lick my lips a little bit now without it hurting. Uh, it's still pulling there, but I'm like, it's still so sore. And he's like, that's normal. I was like, okay. Like I'm still very like backed up. And he's like, no, oh, that's normal. I was like, Okay, like, can I go on a plane? Yes. He goes, oh, like another thing that mom and I laughed at. He goes, well, like, um, you know, now you can get back, you know, if you do sport, you can go back to sport. And I was like, oh, great. Yeah. He's like, yeah, and gym and running. I was like, mm -hmm. oh, I can run. Cool. Like, don't run anyway. So no loss there. But I can run. So if I wanted to run ever, I can do that now. But after I lost so much blood this afternoon, I don't really think I'll be doing much of that. I think I've just taken Panadol and I think I'm just going to have a lie down. Um, so yeah, obviously he wants me to keep on doing the flushes. He said that's the best thing for it. And I've got a follow-up appointment in two months. So, I mean, I might do progress again before then. But for the moment, um, I think I'm going to wrap up the vlog now because, yeah, I've had my follow-up appointment. And I mean, he said everything's healing nicely in there, whatever that means. I didn't get to see it in the end because he was like, I want to have a look. And we had a look and he's like, oh, I'm just going to take everything out. And then I was crying so much and bleeding so much that and I had to close my eyes the whole time and have my head straight. So I didn't look at the camera, which like the TV, like when you're sitting, he's there. And like the screen with the camera is there. I don't know if I'm in focus. Sorry. Um, yeah. So <laughs> yeah, that was kind of an experience but at least it's all healing well um and he said yeah it'll take up to like a couple of months for it to show if it's really worked or what's happening there so i think i have to go back in like may sure um so yeah i think i'm just gonna 
wrap up the vlog now um, and yeah if you did learn anything that's great if you wanted to know anything else please leave a comment down below if you'd want to know more about what I ate in hospital or what to do when waiting in a waiting room or specifically what you know how much blood was coming out when or like what I did to help the pain um, I'm happy to answer anything um, yeah if you have any nose related questions to do with sinuses I'm your gal um, but yeah icy poles definitely help ice packs the back of the head stop the bleeding and making your own little nose holsters I think that's what they're called that was great so mum just cut a piece of gauze cut like ear holes and then we had two tampons wrapped up in a tissue across my nose when I was just walking around because just holding a tissue around just annoying so with that it just clipped onto the ears and I could walk around and I had that when I slept I also used I'll get it I used this for when I slept so I wouldn't be going around I just sat like that with my head up and I had a dark still do have a dark towel on my pillow because there's still lots of blood and fluid up in there that's good, that's got to come out and if I'm sleeping I don't want it to go on my sheets so yeah there are my little tips and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog um a bit different but hopefully you learned something and you kind of know what it's like now to get sinus surgery um but yeah for me it's just interesting to see my progress and like if it'll help because I've been wanting it for so long anyway I will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching bye